Hello lovely friends. I'm Shubid. Thank you for coming back to watch this flip through of my latest custom order. Um, I have to say this is like take 17 or 18 or 25. My brain's turned to mush now so if I'm sounding weird then that's that's partly why. Um, as you know I am um, I hate taking videos um, the, the technical stuff just does not agree with me but um, I'm going to keep churning out bad quality videos for you because because you're awesome and you've been so kind and welcoming to me and I appreciate it so much that I'm going to keep feeding you bad quality videos but really thank you guys um, I was thinking about this again and I still feel as though I'm new to YouTube um, but I'm enjoying it um, so much more than I thought I would I was so nervous to start a channel um, because I had my Etsy shop and I got to a stage that I thought YouTube was really the only logical step to take um, because you know Etsy is limiting you can't talk about your work you can't explain things so um, it's a great channel and um, the community here has been fantastic thank you everyone every one of you for being lovely on that same point um, there's a couple of things at the end of this video that I would like to mention um, some exciting things nice things and Shayna, darling, if you're watching at the moment, then please keep watching because it's about you. So I'm going to get straight into this video and if my phone cuts me off again, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a part two. So um, please be patient and keep watching. OK, so she likes pinks, she likes florals. Um, we've chosen this lovely... Um, cotton print fabric and the ribbon closure here is just very simple just tucked in so uh, oh, I'll show you the charms while I'm here at the front and um, because I've put most of them on the bottom rather than being covered up here so um, because she collects antique lace and ribbons I've just put a couple of little sewing related ones and some flowers so I'll just release and <laughs> this reminds me of when you take off your bra at the end of the day and everything just flops up. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> well, you can just take a deep breath then, can't you? Because she's quite a big girl, as you can see. So anyway, stuff in the pockets here. Um, You've mostly seen before as I walked out one midsummer morning. As I walked out one midsummer morning, is the library card. Some fairyland images. She just requested a few fairies. So there's some sitting up here looking after your stuff. And the other thing that she liked was the tracing paper elements that she's seen me use. So I've added a few more of those. Here's Mrs. Bennett. I've used quite a lot of this stitching from the um, sewing machine, um, both on the pages and on journaling cards and different things. I think it looks really pretty on this kind of themed book. And this, um, I'm really pleased with this tag, it kind of happened by accident. Um, because she asked for the fairies, um, this was an index from one of the herb books and it's got all the little fairy references which is really cute it's got fairy bells fairy bush fairy flax fairy lamps and all those um, so I thought it was a really nice one to use fairy flax I never knew that that was a real thing but if you play Lotro online like I do then uh, that's where I know that, that from so on this side some more stitching and a typewriter quote this opens up with um, some jotter pages again she didn't want masses of writing space um, Daisy's here are one of her favourites 
she didn't want that as a writing space but the space is there um, if you want it so that you know you can write on the back of things like that little handmade envelope um, but then you're not staring at lots of blank pages if you don't want to be writing all the time so um, this is one of those loose photos that you can write on the back of and also on the paper behind it there's some eco dye um, the little Heidi images from a vintage book and daisies again daisies and roses and peonies I think were her favourites so again using this lovely stitch on the uh, journaling cards looks pretty There's a tag flippy thingy. There's a tracing paper with lines. And also for this book I've done um, deckled edges on the uh, page edges. Um, because she doesn't want too grungy, she doesn't like very distressed look. So, um, so that it wasn't too pristine and um, straight cut. I decided just to do the little deckled edges so torn paper I like this page this is so this is one of the tracing paper things that I've done a little window here with some hand stitching around just some simple running stitch and this kind of happened by accident these weird very weird from the graphics fairy um, little Victorian fairy lady I don't know <laughs> I mean Victorians wouldn't have dressed like this for a costume party I don't think it's a bit bare but um I just love them I think they're really quirky and very very cool so thank you graphics fairy so this kind of happened by accident um this part of the page is glued to um hold in the window but that leaves this part free for a little secret pocket and I've just noticed that the little fairy here, she's pointing at the secret pocket so you don't lose it, see? Clever, weird Victorian lady. So more um, machine lines, more fairies in here. There's a tiny tuck. And this might be my favourite page, another weird Victorian fairy creature. Um, but she's holding a real daisy. This is a daisy that I've pressed myself and it's quite well protected on that page. And I think having that also, it changes the scale of the um, the fairy as well. I think it looked quite cute. Um, I like to put things out of context. I think that, that's one of my things. Um, so different sizes where they should be and, and different images where they shouldn't be. You know, things like that. Um, that's the tracing paper thingy. I do seem to be using the word thingy quite a lot, so I apologise for that. Um, this is beautiful silk and cotton paper that just has flowers inside. This actually feels like fabric, it's really lovely. This is a fairy image, I've just torn out the strip here across the bottom and added a book page and some lace. Here is some twin pockets with twin tags, just very simple with a um, dictionary definition. So if you want to know what the word whim whimsical means, then of course you need both tags to tell you. A fairy pocket, some more stitching. Pretty frocks for girls of all ages, so that's um, like an advertisement and then I've put this little collection of fabrics and buttons so that somebody is choosing which ones go together. And inside is some fashions for older ladies, from the horrible to the hideous, these hats. <laughs> you, can, you can choose which one you like best and if you, you can look like her if you want. <laughs> Here's a Mr. Bennett quote. Another um, envelope with a uh, another thingy 
My brain really is mush today. Don't you love how educational it is watching me? <laughs> you learn all these new words. <laughs> Oops, I'm just going to get the door. And we're back. Okay, so that's that. Um, more fairies, more handmade paper with flowers. Some lovely watercolour images with a little poem inside this fold out. Um, poems and pockets, cards, some torn tracing paper lines, little tag here to write on, more pockets, more pockets and um, I'm not sure when, when to talk about this. All right, I'll talk about it now. This is an idea that I got from my friend Liv. Um, <laughs> hi, Liv. <laughs> Thank you for all the beautiful things you've sent me, Liv, and the lovely ideas that I'm going to keep copying. Um, at the end of this video, I am just going to mention another video um, that didn't make it to YouTube. Uh, and in the middle of that, I get caught off talking about my friend Liv. That's why I'm laughing. Um, because of some of the ideas that I was using of hers. What I love about this is that it eliminates a lot of the bulk from your spine. So you can add a lot more pages to your book um, because the spine is along the outside edge. So thank you, Liv, for that wonderful idea. And more paper. Um, somebody explain to me, please, why that's called a tip-in. I don't understand that word at all. But I believe that's what we are calling them. This is Mind Beretti on Etsy. She does a lovely Pride and Prejudice set. This is um, wax paper, which was crinkled before it was ironed, with a little specimen inside sewing paper, crinkly paper. When the um, when you have see-through paper, like tracing paper or this kind of see-through stuff, I like to put pictures, like a big picture behind it or something inside. So I've done back-to-back -back pictures here, just so that it lends a bit more extra interest. If I do get cut off at the end of this video, I think I'm just going to carry on. Um, I don't know if I said that on this video, on this take. Um, sorry if I'm repeating myself. Um, sorry if this is disjointed. I know that um, I'm getting muddled up now. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do a part two. Um, so please keep watching for that. Uh, so collage page. There's some hand stitching here with little French knots for wildflowers. There's some machine stitching also. I've used this fairy with the stitch work so that she matches the opposite page, which is Oxide Daisy. And this is one of those vintage collectible things. You used to get the embroidery swatch on the um, on the front, and then inside is information about the flower. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going now because I try to take these videos really early morning so that nobody's up and... Um, you know, walking around making noise because I live in a big household. But it's it's actually nearly lunchtime now and I'm still talking and trying to get this video done. So uh, I think I'm sounding hoarse now. <coughs> Excuse me. So a belly band with a magnet. There's a little uh, thingy with a daisy on the back. I've remembered the word for daisy, so that's good. I've done a little tuck here and some note paper in the back. Some dungarees here, of course. These are your little ABC cards that you've seen before, I'm sure. More pockets, more tucks, peonies, more um, little journaling cards. This was a nice idea. I've used some scrapbook paper to make this tracing paper window and I've added machine stitching lines and then um, so this this closes here with a thingy and 
this is some more paper inside for writing and a quote and more writing on the back another quote and another pocket a lace pocket here and I think we're nearly at the end another pocket there okay so how much time have I got okay so I've got some bits and pieces in here there's a little daisy insert uh, fairy insert this is a pocket from with a, using a page from an old vintage book which is quite interesting because it's got two photos and it's a crossing in Oxford Street either side of 40 years so it's quite an interesting little comparison and um, what's inside a watercolour this is Bruno Liljefors I'm not sure of the pronunciation but he's an amazing watercolour artist in this envelope more cards more stitching all around these little panels lovely Tim Holtz paper and a little card with a Shakespeare quote these are from um, the old design shop I've used quite a few of hers and this little image I have to stop and just look at it again I love this picture I just want to bundle her off and put her to bed she looks like a little you know when a toddler goes all tired and just stands still and her wings are drooping a little bit and she's gone sleepy and tired this artist is so skillful she's amazing so I picked the Daisy Fairy because she is so beautiful and the lady that's having the book loves daisies and um, I had nearly finished this book when I started watching Shana Lazarus um, I believe she's only got one video of a book that she's done recently and she is the most amazing journal maker um, you have to go and watch her um, she, so because I'd all, almost finished this book I wanted to copy every single idea that I saw but um, it was too late by then so on my next book I'm hoping to copy more of your ideas um, this trim I keep seeing this trim at the shops and think thinking it catches your eye and I'm thinking oh that's nice and then deciding not to use it because you know it just didn't look right but um, Shana uses it quite a lot in different colours and I just love her book so much so I got some and I've started using it and I love it so this is my little fairy um, insert it's got the daisy poem there here I've done a magnet and then um, the Wood of Finn uh, Varar. This is a poem about fairies. I've used this beautiful um, daisy trim. Uh, not daisy, I meant to say fairy. It's got, it kind of picks up the light in these lovely fairy colours. And then inside there's a little booklet. And there's a real specimen daisy there. Here is a tiny little fairy book. Is that in focus? Let me just find where the camera is. There we are. So um, there's a little tiny tag in a pocket with a fairy tree. Some little tiny images. That's a little specimen. Some writing. There's one page blank for you to fill yourself. Stamp a tip in. A little mushroom. So that goes in the little vintage card pocket here. I've done more of this stitching here. Pocket with some hand stitching. More fairies. I've used this um, quote from Midsummer Night's Dream where Oberon talks about Titania because she, this image reminds me of like a fairy queen. I think it's really beautiful. So those two are together some wildflowers on the vintage card and some space to write so that's that um, so I've just put this loose in the back of the book along with these other pieces and um, let's 
let's see, a little fairy charm. And this leaf is just cut from a piece of handmade felt that I made. I wasn't sure where to put it really, you can move it if you want. But she's making a bed out of it at the moment. And so I'll slot these in here. Now, the other thing that I wanted to just mention was um, I took a video a couple of weeks ago and the quality of that one was so awful. The sound is weird, the picture is weird and jumpy and I just couldn't get it to finish. Um, the last few minutes are just completely cut off where the camera just freezes. So um, I had decided not to um, upload it, but I think that now I've changed my mind and I am going to put it on YouTube. So um, oh wait, I've just got a 